Hello, YouTube friends. It's been a while. How you been? You look good. How's how everything's going? Everything good? I've been busy. So, first off, I'd like to apologize. I've been really busy with family and work and life and you know how that stuff goes. And uh, the truth of the matter is, is that uh, I was in the middle of doing a video about uh, installing the door seals to make the car inside of the car more quiet. And I did some testing just with an app on my phone, I got a decibel level, and then I installed a bunch of the door seals that I bought way before the car was delivered. And uh, about a day after I, I uh, put them up, most of them promptly fell off. So I got some double-sided tape, and as you can see, it's pretty thick. And after I installed, reinstalled the door seals with this tape on and retested, they actually got louder in the car. And I guess that little bit of width there was enough to open up the, the seals of the door a little bit. So I kind of got frustrated with it, and so I just ripped the door seals off and continued on as I was. And then I bought some of this cool scotch double, double-sided double scotch tape, which is much, much thinner. So I'm going to reinstall these today and then retest, and hopefully that'll make the car quieter again. So that kind of explains my absence. Again, I apologize. Now, i well, update you on stuff that's going on. At the end of September, I took part in an event in, no in Halifax, Nova Scotia with called Electric Avenue uh, in, in cooperation with the Atlantic Electric Vehicle Association of Atlantic Canada and Nova Scotia Power had on this great event with a whole bunch of dr uh, test rides for people who are interested in electric cars. A bunch of Teslas were there. The Jaguar I-Pace was there. The Audi e-tron was there. It was cool to see those cars. And I meant to take a whole bunch of footage and show you guys uh, my day, but I had no sooner parked the car, and I had people coming up and asking about, about, about Teslas and this stuff, and I was like super busy for about five hours, so that was great. The enthusiasm was awesome, but I did, didn't have any time to take any footage. Next time, I'll bring my junior producer and camera person with me, and she can film the footage, and I can talk to the people about the car, or she can talk to the people about the car, and I'll take the footage, whatever. Last week, I also went to Halifax with a couple of friends to take part in the Electric Vehicle Association of Atlanta Canada's monthly meeting, and I didn't get much camera footage or anything there, but it was great to meet everybody in the Halifax area, and I uh, got, got to see a whole bunch of cool cars, a Performance Model 3, which I haven't seen yet, and uh, the Jaguar I-Pace was there, and the Audi e-tron again was there, so that was really cool, and I'd like to thank uh, everybody in Halifax with uh, CAA who hosted the event. And uh, for thank uh, Jeremy and Kirk and Keith from the Atlantic Vehicle for EVAC for putting on the meeting. That was great. Thanks for hosting us. We hope that you guys all come over to Prince Edward Island sometime soon. That'd be really cool. And if you would like to join the Electric Vehicle Association of Atlantic Canada or EVAC or the Prince Edward Island Electric Vehicle Association, PIEVA, uh, just go on to Facebook and look us up. They're free to join. They're not. You don't have to be an electric vehicle owner to take part. So yeah, so join and, and come on out. I would like to take a moment for a shameless plug for my friend Mike and his electric vehicle used car dealership called Pure EV. Also available, look it up on Facebook. If you're in the market for a used electric car, he's a great guy. He knows a ton about EVs and he's got more than a few there to go have a look at. And if there's a specific electric car you're looking for, I'm sure he would do his absolute best to help you look for the exact car that you want. So go check him out, Pure EV. So it's that dreaded time of year again. Winter is coming. I'm experiencing the same thing that everyone else is experiencing. We've got loss of tire pressure uh, due to the cold temperatures. I've got some battery range loss because of the winter and the heater is all on all the time. And the uh, battery needs to be, be warm. Uh, so it looks like I'm down to about 300 kilometers of range at 80%. That's, that's a little bit low, but it's still more than enough for our daily needs. As we get through winter, I'll keep you updated on what I experienced with my first winter with the car. Also, I'm going to do the Cardinal Sin. I'm not going to put snow tires in the car. I know I should. We're going to Florida for a bit this, this winter. I don't want to wreck the tires going down there and back. So maybe when we get back, I'll look at putting winter tires on the car. Because that's usually the, the bulk of the winter is from February to the spring anyway. So we'll look at it then. Okay? Okay. And now a question for you guys. Is there somewhere that you would like to see me take the, the Tesla Model 3? Is there? Do you have any questions about the Tesla Model 3? If so, leave me a comment down below and ask. Or reach out to me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook at 
P-E-I-E-V guy. Just uh, pepper me with your questions. I'll be happy to answer them. So I think that's it for this update. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for your patience in the lack of content lately. I will do my best to uh, rectify that and uh, put up content more often for you guys. And as always, if you've liked the content you've seen so far, don't forget to do the thing with the liking and the subscribing. You know what to do, I'm sure. And I guess I'll talk to you all later. See ya.